what's going on everyone welcome back to this brand new course where i'm going to teach you how you can create this beautiful food delivery application i'll show you how you can implement this design which you can add to your portfolio as well so without further wasting any time let's dive into the application as you can see we have the, all the food categories here which you can select and then we have all these featured restaurants fried chicken chinese spice and all so when you click on a restaurant it will take you to the menu and you can see all the food items which you can add to your cart as well so uh, let's say i add a burger and a chicken wings and when i click on this it will open my cart and you can see all the food items that i, I have picked At the bottom you can see our order price which gets updated whenever we add or remove any item from the cart so uh, when i place this order you will see a very cool animation of our rider picking up the food so let's just place the order Now our order is placed and now we are seeing the delivery screen where you can see the restaurant's location and the delivery time. Uh, by the way this map is fully functional and this is the arrival time. I have done it until this point where you can place the order. We are not actually placing the order that is up to you guys. I will build it until this point and this button will cancel the order. Okay so we will be learning a lot of things building this application starting with uh, react native we will be using expo to make this application so you can run the application on your, on your device we will be using react native navigation to uh, navigate between different pages and models then we will be using uh, redux toolkit which a lot of you guys struggle with I will show you how easy it is to implement this we will be using native wind to style our application native wind is just a package built on top of the tailwind css so we will be using tailwind classes to implement our design it's very easy to use then the last and very important thing that we will learn is sanity sanity is just a content management system where you can store all your data as as we will be doing in this application you can store your data and manage your data from the back end as you can see we are in our application we have all these categories and all these restaurants data that we are pulling from the back end it's actually coming from the sanity back end so if I move to Sanity Studio, you will see all these data, restaurants, dishes, categories. And if I open the restaurant, you will see all the properties in that restaurant like reviews, categories and dishes. So it is very easy to add this, add this data and fetch this data on the front end. Now let me show you a very cool feature of our application. So let's get back to this application. And uh, here you can see we have implemented a orange color theme in our application so you can see we have this orange button and all the text is orange all the restaurants have this orange shade if i open a restaurant you will see all the buttons are orange so the point is everywhere you see we will be following an orange theme and the cool thing is you can change all this in just one click so if i change the uh, color scheme uh, from two this will change all the colors in that application even if i go back you will see all the buttons and all the colors have changed so this is very cool you can use multiple color options in your theme and once you choose the one you like you can just save it and it will change the colors throughout the application so this is very cool uh, let's uh, complete our order uh, three burgers yes place order obviously you cannot change the colors of this animation but you can use your own animations even the pin in the map have the color of, color of our theme so all the colors have changed all the shades and all the buttons very cool stuff so if you want to grow your react native skills and create amazing apps like this then subscribe the channel and follow me along i will teach you everything you need to create this application so this is it for this video we will start creating this app in the next video